You know, 20 years ago, we decided to open a LISC office in Buffalo, and it was really uh, an effort by some private sector leadership. Uh, Victor Rice, uh, the CEO of the uh, Lucas Verity Corporation, and uh, Patricia Rehack from the Buffalo Niagara Partnership. They were looking for a way to see how private investment could help neighborhood-based redevelopment activity. And they asked LISC to come to Buffalo and do an evaluation of the potential of the program. And that all being done, we opened up in 1998. It's hard to believe, but 20 years ago, a cold phone call came from the civic community to LISC. We had a good exchange of ideas. We met similar like-minded civic community, public officials, and neighborhood leadership that has been the foundation of our work ever since. Well, this was Bush's first project. And it was a mixed-use uh, building previously. It was vacant. They rehabilitated it, did some uh, housing units and then later on came back and did it further and made it part of their offices, which until they moved to School 77, they continued to use. And this provided some of the earliest support to push for our community planning work, for our community engagement work. And again, it's been a supporter through many of our projects, including our largest to date, the transformation of School 77. This is PUSH's most recent project, School 77, $14 million reinvestment in reclaiming this school for the neighborhood into 30 senior apartments and office space for PUSH, includes Peace of the City and the Ujima Theater. LISC, through its uh, affiliate National Equity Fund, put uh, $10.8 million in equity into this project. One of the things LISC was able to bring into Buffalo was new market tax credits. They were a new federal incentive for redevelopment work. And then uh, Ani DeFranco and Righteous Babe Records were looking at saving this building which had been abandoned and was being threatened with demolition. Uh, working with them, we put in about $10 million in new market tax credits to help restore the Asbury Church. One of the great uh, parts of this project is on completion. It was a new home for Hall Walls Contemporary Art Gallery, for Righteous Babes concert activity, and for wedding receptions and conferences. It's used very frequently here now and, and a great addition to Buffalo. Behind us is the uh, Larkin U Building. And um, this was the second new market tax credit project we did in Buffalo in concert with Larkin Development Group. And uh, I think we put about $8 million in new market tax credit in this to help, uh, help with its renovation and reuse. And uh, now the headquarters for Key Bank in Western New York. LIST does things that no other organization can do because they have access to capital and resources for community organizations that they just can't access on their own. Once we uh, started our partnership with Larkin Development Group, there were some things that they really didn't have access to that not-for-profit corporations did. So we arranged a partnership between the Larkin Development Group and the Old First Ward Community Association. Uh, we provided a staff member for Old First Ward for a period of three years and helped them secure a $500,000 New York State Main Street grant. But when they were done with this, these, these buildings were all a combination of commercial and residential mixed use, uh, adding some of the vitality to the district. As the executive director of the Beverly Gray Business Exchange Center, it's our responsibility to connect local entrepreneurs uh, with small business resources across the city. LISC is the largest nonprofit lender in the country, so we're really lucky to have a Buffalo office here. And they're really adamantly important when it comes to deploying capital specifically to minority and women entrepreneurs um, within the city of Buffalo who are unable to get traditional bank financing. So I first started working with LISC um, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Way back in 2008, I worked with them to implement a financial opportunity center, and it was outstanding. We are located at the Northland Workforce Training Center. Our mission is to prepare local residents for outstanding careers in advanced manufacturing and energy. One of the things I'm excited about working with LISC, um, they've been able to identify best practices from across the country and to assist local levels with adopting and implementing those best practices. LISC has been a part of a lot of Buffalo's community renaissance, especially in neighborhoods. We're in the Larkin Building right now. LISC participated in lending in this neighborhood. Working with LISC helps the community immensely. Not only do they act as a convener and bring various parties together, but they're able to tap national resources, bring them to Buffalo, and help with financing, operational costs, and providing training and bringing tools to the community. Uh, the Oshai Foundation has supported LISC for the past 20 years. We've provided $2.6 million to this organization, and LISC has leveraged that with $275 million, providing an unprecedented 
return on investment. It's because of all the tools this organization can bring to our community and the vast array of expertise that LISC offers.